Welcome to my walk in the woods. This is October 2020, and third grade is studying about Native Americans. Lake Arrowhead had 40 Paiute Native Americans. They were kind of warlock, and they used the mountains for their hunting grounds. Usually, they lived in the high desert, though. The first white man to set foot in Little Bear Valley, which is now Lake Arrowhead, was a fur trader whose partner was Jedediah Smith. Today we're going to go for a walk and visit the areas that I would take you to if we were going on a field trip. called the Matadis. This is dead rotting wood. It may look like it has no purpose, but it actually serves a home for all the insects. If you look up, this tree is dead. It was probably struck by lightning. No longer serves a function, except for all the little animals, the insects, that live in this tree. Hi there, this is Dr. Barkdahl, your North Vermont environmental education teacher. Um, for today, we've walked out to the Matadis in Lake Arrowhead. Now, this is thousands of years old, and the Native Americans would gather their acorns and drop them in this area called the Matadi, and they would take a tool and grind it. And after all the years, it has become a really deep. You can see that there's three holes here, there's a shallower hole here. Okay, all these holes are where the Native American, predominantly the women, would come and grind their acorns. So, this is the Matadis. It's located near Fire Station 13, and we'll see that um, on our way out. Thank you. something really magical I hadn't seen. It's been built up here in the last four years since I was here with all of my co-workers. Someone has built a Native American structure. They used wood in the surrounding areas to build it. I think it's pretty fantastic. What I like living about in the mountains is all the change of colors. Here are oak trees changing from green to yellow to brown. You can see here, a squirrel has been busy. It took all the little pine cones and ate it. Woodpeckers drill holes and hide acorns here. seems to be getting tired from our two mile walk. I hope you haven't been. This is the area that I live and I hope you enjoyed going on my little walk with me today. I hope we go sometime again soon. See you!